Blind is a Mexican friend. We've been hearing him all week. The man who sings in all the Mexican medals, there are all the Mexican swimmers in the water. What a voice he has. We said we would find him. Thank you to the camera crew for that. So that is the famous face of the tenor. <laughs> The tenor that surrounded these waters every time his national swimmers come out to perform. We knew we'd find him. Now we know who he is. He's a marked man now. The cameraman will be looking for him all the time now. The moustache will give him away, I think. Yeah. Well, there are the swimmers waiting to enter the poolside. Behind the blocks. We are due to have eight swimmers taking the start, but I think there may well only be seven. I cannot see any swimmer taking the lane in lane one. But we'll see. Whatever has happened, I think the swimmer in lane one is not going to make the start. So. Seven swimmers in here. In lane number two, and there is Colombia. Urbano Herrera from Colombia. He goes in lane number two. In lane number three, representing Spain. I said earlier, the Colombian team having a fantastic championship. Israel Oliver goes in three for Spain. Alexander Maschenko goes for Ukraine in four. Kaichi Kimura from Japan, a big hope for the Japanese team. He goes in lane five. Taron Drake in six for the USA. Dimitro Zalewski, winner of the backstroke earlier this week. He goes in lane seven. And Aaron Koblitka goes in lane eight for Slovenia. World record held by Yang Bozun from China. But swimmer in lane four, Maschenko. Not too far away from that, round about half a second. And if he can just get these starts right, if he can get the turns right, the finish right, then we may be able to challenge the world record held by the Chinese swimmer, Yang Bozun. The men's 100 breaststroke, SB11. Swimmers with no vision whatsoever. Very important that they get straight at the start. We don't want to veer off. Immediately you go into the water. It's important that you're either tracking the lane rope or up the middle of the lane. You don't want to be battering into that lane rope as you go along there. And a very good swim there from Kimura and Maschenko as they leave the start. Could be Kimura leading into the halfway stage. Yes, absolutely wonderful start by Kimura. And he was very quick to 25 and very quick to the 50. He's turning first, 36, 100 a second ahead of Mashenko. Mashenko from the Ukraine was a clear favorite, some three seconds faster than Kimura. But Kimura there, still hanging on, still hanging on with every stroke he takes. In fact, trying to challenge again to dominate the lead as he did down the first 50 metres. Moshenko had a good turn and tried to get back at him, but the pure swim speed of Kimura of Japan in lane number five is going to take him to a gold medal. Moshenko can't do anything about it. It's going to be a fantastic performance for the man from Japan in lane number five as he comes in now to touch for gold, 114.51. Moshenko could do nothing about that from the Ukraine and in third place Israel Oliver of Spain unofficially of course at the moment but I was so impressed with the dive start the reaction time of Kimura and up into his stroke he really was away very fast you can see him get into the water a full half a body length ahead of the rest of the field and we can see some swimmers surfacing already and then the yellow lane ropes at the, the top yellow lane rope there Kimura still underwater what a clean breakout that was and stole really a huge margin of difference on the dive start not so good on the turn didn't quite have the power that Mashenko has in lane number four but Mashenko tried to stay with him but Kimura just had that raw, pure swim speed to accelerate again into the finish. And here he is, 
just a few metres from home. He must sense victory there. He's going past the red dicks to indicate 15 metres from the finish line. Really gagging for air there, perhaps yanking the head up a little early to try and gasp for breath as he takes an explosive breath before the head goes down again. That's the last stroke. That's the gold medal for Kimura. That was quite a tap on the head for Kimura at the end. He wasn't going to miss that one. And he stretched for the wall as he felt the tapper just hit him there. We just might be able to see it here as he comes in. And Kimura, we missed the tap there, but it was a good finish. There's Maschenko and Israel Oliver finishing there in second and third position. Kimura, another gold medal. I said he was a big hope for the Japanese team. And that is how it proved. Great swim there from Kimura. Kaichi Kimura, he will take the gold.